Hi everyone, welcome to the QA Ops channel. I'm Rafael Lima. And on today's video, we're going to be talking about two very special commands on, on the Unix world. One is the cut and the other one is the AWK command, right? which allows you to do very powerful stuff. So if you haven't watched the whole set of videos related to uh, CLI, Unix, I'm going to be posting a video so you can follow up since the beginning. And also I'm going to be posting the videos related to the Java versus Azure API world, right? So let's start with these commands. And this is very important command because we're going to be using that in the future very soon. So the first thing is we have our shell script uh, repository here and we have a file called properties files. And this property file has three properties, property one, two, and three with different values on each one of those. So how can I search for a specific property and return its value, right? You might be asking why do I need that, but then you, in the future, you, you, you might, you're probably going to be able to, you're going to need to use that. It might not be a property file, but maybe you need to split a string. Maybe you need to split a, a folder path. Or, or a directory path, uh, which is the same as a folder, but you, you're going to be able to do that with those two commands that I'm going to show you right now. So we learned that I can print the file by typing cat and properties, right? Properties. Right? And also I can grab a specific command, like a specific thing on that file. So I'll be grabbing for the property that I want. I want to grab for property one, all right? So you already filtered me the property one, but I do not want the whole string. I just want its value. I could also do grab property one and the file name, which is the same thing. I think the cat is a little bit more semantic because on the grab I'm first I'm first giving the filter and then the file. I find personally a little bit weird. I prefer to first give the file name and then uh, filtering out. But that doesn't really matter. So now I'm going to be I'm now what I need to say is no now I want to delimit it right. So if you are familiar with any. Uh, programming language, you have uh, a split command or a explode command where you can say I want to explode this sprint on commands and it's going to explode in an array, right? So, or it's a split command depending on the, the language that you use. So you can split that specific string into multiple pieces based on one delimiter. So this is the same thing as the cut command, right? AWK can do much more, but I'm going to show you specifically this. So the cut command, so I, I'm going to use another pipe because the first pipe is was to filter the property. So now we were able to find the specific property that we want. Now I just want its value and I'm going to explode this string by the equal sign. So what I'm going to say is pipe cut and I'm going to pass the param parameter uh, dash D for delimiter, right? And I'm going to say, I'm, I want to delimit, to explode this by the equal sign. And now I have two parts, the part on the left of the equal sign and the part on the right of the equal sign. Now, in those, I can, I can reference those as dash F1. So now I have the actual value of property one, the actual property, like the key of the property. If I do F2, I have the actual value. I have the equals, up the, the right of the equal. So now uh, I, I was able to, with that simple command, able to get its value, right? So let's take a look at another one right so i can do the same thing with the second property i just need to find the correct property which is property two which is the second property but let's say that the property three has in, in the value has the equal sign so when it's equal to 
any other thing. So when I choose property three, and now I explode it into three parts, because if we remember here, property three has the equal sign. So it was exploded into three different pieces. We have F1, we have F2, and we have F3. You might not want to split into three pieces, but the equal sign is there, you have no choice. But what you can do is, okay, I want to get everything starting from the second part. So this is the first part, this is the second part, and th this is the second part, and this is the third part. So what I can say is, okay, I want everything from the two all the way to the end. And then instead of passing the dash F3, I just pass dash. And it's going to give me the second uh, part all the way to the very end. That's, that's basically what you can do with the cut command. You can do similar thing with the AWK command. You can do much more of the stuff with AWK command. You can, you can search strings inside the file, not in one specific file. You can use the AWK command to search a specific string in every file in a folder. It's, it's a very powerful command. But what we're going to do here is the same thing that we did with the cut, and we're going to tweak a little. Right? So what I can do is I'm going to say cat, the same thing, property files. I'm going to grab by the property. I'm going to make sure that I got here the, the, the line that I wanted. Now I'm going to use awk command. Right, and the awk command is very, there's a, some specifics of the command itself. First, when I say, when I want to delimit something, it's not the D, it's the F, which is field separator. And I'm going to say I want to separate with the equal sign. But now I need to tell you what, what's going to do with that equal sign. Right, and the syntax is I need to put uh, single columns and then uh, curly bracket, brackets, right? Now, what I'm going to say is I want to print the dollar one, which is the first column. I want to print dollar two, which is the second column, right? If um, I went for the property three, I would go for the third column, which is uh, the, the other string, the, the, the other equals, right? But what is very powerful about this one is now I can actually change and tweak and add stuff to that, to that specific string. So I can say now, instead of just giving me the value, I can say, okay, I want to print one and I want to say, okay, this is going to be the first value and I'm going to just say this and I'm going to print it. So now that first value is property three. Now I can keep going, right? I can say, okay, now what I want is I want the second. I'm going to give a space. Second value, right? And I'm following the same pattern here. I close the double quotes and I put two. So now I have the second value. I also can break the line, which is slash n. So now I have first value, property three, second value, a third property. And I'm going to break here again. And I'm going to say final value, which is $3. There you go. So now I, I could actually change and modify the way my string would look like, the way the user or you or anybody else would see those actual values. So I can, I can actually tweak those little pieces. Like the cut is going to give me a, I think it's simpler, it's more easy for you to remember the cut command 
the AWK has some specifics on the syntax, but as you could see, it's very powerful. You can actually change and modify that string the way you see fit, right? You can, you can look online for more usage of the AWK. It's a very, very powerful command. Like, so this is what I wanted to, to show you. If you like, give the thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel so you can receive the next videos. In the next video, we're going to actually be talking about how we can use what I showed in the previous video, which is receiving having a shell script that receives a parameter, and I can I can use that parameter the way I see fit, plus what I can do with those commands that I just showed you, so I can actually uh, be more productive. Right. So thank you for watching.